Uh, I don't know if I'll get through all of them. But first, I want to thank everyone for coming tonight. And uh, it's amazing that we can all be here and, uh, you know, get the hell out of the pandemic a lot and, you know, have fun tonight. Everybody drink and have a good time. And we are just so thankful that everyone can be here. All right? So, thank you. Don't worry, I'm not going to make it one of them cheesy speeches where I say last but not least. No, instead, I'm going to start with the least important person here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brian Brzezicki is in back right there. Thank you, Brian. We love you, Brian. It might not look like it ladies, but he is a dancing machine. You will dance for him. You will kill him. I'm telling you. Okay, there's several themes to this speech. I'll try and be brief because I know everybody wants to take your time. But I'll reiterate them at the end. First, well, you know, when you get married, you get so many more friends, right? So Jackie, who she she's had her our friends here, she's been friends with them for at least 20 years. And ladies, now you can all move into the stage of hating me to pretending to like me for a little while. So, I am thrilled about that, but Jackie is also thrilled because you guys are great friends to her and she loves and cares about you guys a lot. So thank you guys for being here and being part of our day. Right? Also, that brings me to my friends. Oh my god. All the mutants over there. Right? In case you're wondering, I think it's table 12 or 15 over there, you guys. Are some of these guys I've been friends with for 30 years. John Michael Van Ernie's here. I've been friends with him my whole life. He grew up down the block with me. I'm so thankful and grateful he could be here. Um, also, Paul Capella, who had the most unfortunate luck of his entire... And anybody I know, he was born six months in between me and Fran and lived 50 feet from us. <laughs> So he had to be annoyed by both me and Fran for going on 30 years. Not only that, but God broke his back a couple years ago, and he's still here. So thank you, Paul, for coming to do this set. Also, buddy, uh, this guy I know, Steve, is here. Uh, he just shows up once a year and talks about the Lost Boys, but I was glad he could be here for it, so thank you, Steve. All right. Um, also, uh, more of my friends are here. You know, Doc is here. We wouldn't let him wear a Hawaiian shirt, but he decided to come anyway. So Doc is the guy with sunglasses back there. Party animal, thank you for coming. Uh, Flinter is here. Glad he could be here too. Been friends with him 30 years ago. And of course, Mike Lynch is here. We're talking about a guy who has crashed more cars than me and Fran put together. Right? He made it. There, he, this is also a guy who decided to fight me when I gave him the only clean space less to sleep in a short house. Now, nah, fight me for it, buddy. But, thanks, Lynch. You're the man. Love you, buddy. Thank you for here. Um, yeah. So, I, you know, I, I get the double size of my friends, and now Jackie is forced to be friends with all my idiot friends. Yeah. But, also, um, I'm very fortunate because of our family, obviously. Um, not only when you get married, you get the double size of your friends, you get the double size of your family, finally making it official, right? Um, I am super happy to be finally part of the Farrell family. The Farrells and the Lacombs have been hanging out for 70 years, pretty much anyway. We're around the corner from the Lacombe family, the Farrell family is. And I also want to be, I'm already killing him. I'll try and be quick. Um, I also want to thank uh, the Hatchers, John and Betsy, who are just incredibly nice to us, and we couldn't survive without them. They are endlessly helpful, and you can see this clan up here that they always give us help for. So I want to thank Mr. Hatcher and Betsy very much. Thank you guys. Also, if you're wondering why we got married now, you guys have a short house, so. <laughs> right? And I also want to thank Bob and Denise Wilson, uh, Gabby and Bob, who are also similarly the greatest people in the world. Woo! Hey, we couldn't do anything without them, from, from helping us with the kids, to watching the dog, 
to also having a short house now. We are just, you know, I've been cleaning out your fridge for 20 years, so now that it's official, I feel a lot less guilty about it. So thank you guys. You guys are the best. Every time I walk into the house, Bob says, Hey Drew, you want a beer? Are you hungry? And that is just like the best thing a guy can hear. And they truly are, are great family for us. And, and so thank you guys. We love you guys so much. All right. Also, I want to thank uh, the Carroll family, my mom's family, who, you know, we also could have survived without. Who taught me, you know, the meaning of honor and dignity and hard work and respect. And I'm so glad they could be here with us tonight. I love you guys. All right. And Jackie is now part of the Little Cubs family. So she gets to be part of one of the most creative, talented, and crazy families in all of the planet, right? We're, we're so happy about that, right? Um, you know, Jackie and I also, when, we, when I decided, you know, when we decided to really look at having a family and, and getting married and, and, you know, people we looked up to, we looked up to a few people, our grandparents, and also, we looked up to um, my uncle Hank and Aunt Brenda, and um, we looked up to, it's an extra special day today, I don't know if any of you guys know this, uh, but today is the 50th anniversary of my uncle Dan and my Aunt Rose and Uncle Hank, who are sitting right there, they were married 50 years today. I told, I told them in a message, I said, I, I wish I could have been sentimental and be like, yeah, that's, that's why we picked May 15th. But the truth is, it's also a Who song, so I knew I wouldn't forget the date. It was 5.15, right? Um, but they are an inspiration and a great family, and, and they've always been there for us. John, we're almost done, buddy. I know, he, he, I'm killing him, so I gotta get moving, right? Um, um, but Jackie, you should also know there are several family mysteries we don't know in all kinds of family. Like now Michael remembers all the words to all those songs. Um, does old boys still wear thong underwear? And what the hell does Paul Bradley do for a living? I still don't know. I, I mean, nobody knows what this guy does for a living, right? So those are part of the family too. Um, but, you know, in all seriousness, um, not only do I want to remember my family, our family and our friends, but the ones who we lost a lot of in the last year, and I don't want to be sad about it, they would want us to be happy for them. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Farrell we lost. Um, we lost Grandma Hasher, also Jackie's beloved grandma. Um, Jim, my grandfather, John and Dolores Carroll. My Uncle Joe Bush, my Uncle Jay, my godfather. Jack LeCompte, who sadly passed away. Helen and Hank LeCompte, who couldn't be here with us. And my Aunt Jean, who's my godmother, and my Uncle Bill. And of course, uh, two of the most beloved, brilliant, and um, very special people in my life, uh, my cousin Martin and my cousin Michael, who we love very much. And we would know that they would want us to be here having a good time and remembering them and kicking ass and having fun, right? So we remember them also. Right, so we, we, we would know that with family and friends, we're supposed to be here having a good time, right? I also want to, you know, special shout out to my dad, my dad for putting up with me and Fran for years. And also my father who told me the meaning of uh, getting tough, redemption, and keeping the faith. Thanks, Dad. Right? Also, my mother, who's my heart and soul, my constant support, my confidant, the person who made me believe I could do anything. I love you, Mom. Uh, my brother Tim, who taught me a, a very valuable lesson, which is how to not get pissed off and mad all the time. So Tim is, in many ways, Tim is the opposite of uh, Fran and I, because he's, he's teaching me to grow and let go of the things that really don't matter. 
So thanks to Tim and Jess, we love you guys too. Right? And my brother Frank. Is he here right now? This, is he not here? Frank, where are you at? He's not here, really? Oh my god. This guy has a head as hard as a brick. Uh, but yeah, I love him and, and I know if he was ever on time and I answer his hand, he would cut it off and give it to me. So, I love you, friend, wherever you are. We'll make sure he gets a video of it somewhere. Yeah. Thanks, bud. That's my best man, by the way, too. He's always on time. I, it's just this one time that's... You know? It's weird. Okay? Um... <laughs> Yeah, one, one of the testaments to Fran is uh, um, I went to a Strokes concert with my friends. It, it was on 69th Street, right? You know, 69th Street at the tower is on Philadelphia on one side and uh, on the other side, yeah, on, on Market, right? So, I, like an idiot, I, uh, cover your ears, guys. I went across the street and decided to take a whiz in the alley and got arrested in Darby, and Fran told me from the other side, and, and went over to the cops and said, Yo, that's my brother, you can't lock him up. And he was like, well, wow. he just pissed on an unmarked cop car, so he's going to death. And Fran said, all right, well, I'll piss on the car too, you lock me up too. That's what a brother does, make sure you don't go to jail a little bit. Right? Right, so he's a man also. And, of course, I'm... You know, the reason why I get up in the morning, the reason why Jack and I do our thing here, is that this team right here. Uh, when Lily was born, broke my heart, changed me forever who I was, and I, I'm just so, really feel blessed that I have so much, uh, we've been given so much. And, um, you know, these guys are the greatest. And I have a beautiful wife who, you know, don't she look great, everybody? who is intensely dedicated and driven to the kids and the family. And that's what, kind of what we both always wanted, is to have a, a big family like our grandparents, like, you know, you know, the families of old. Do have, <laughs> do have, you know, a bunch of kids and a big loving family. And she means, and they mean everything to me, right? So. What I'd like to do in summary, the final toast is all that, is everyone please raise your glass. Okay, and the toast is right, to you alright? Alright. Ready to get a good beer. Alright, the toast is to our beloved living, our dearly departed, and all those yet to come. Love you guys. Thank you very much for being here for such a night. It means everything. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to one more time. Put your hands together for our group.